whether you got the raspberry pi or maybe you got the recall box or the <coughs> lunch box no 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 launch box regardless of which front end you have we're going to show you the easiest way to get the marquee files the snap files the game list generated no matter which front end you have because let's face it once you get these games running you want it to look nice you want to be able to show it off to your friends and say look what i did look at this or you might be stuck with something that you're just not very happy with or very proud to even let other people see. So better yet, let's dive in and learn how to use one of the best media scrapers that works for multiple platforms. So if you're not familiar with the scraper, basically what it does is it takes the ROM name, does a look up into the internet and says, hey, I need a video, a box art, and a marquee file for this game. Now the RetroPie actually has a scraper built into it. And if you go into the main menu under scraper and you select it, you'll see that the default one is called the Games DB. Now one of the problems with the Games DB is it's not always up to date and it's not very accurate and it's not very good. So where you want to start is right here, scraper.net. This is a awesome scraper. Now the funny thing is, as awesome as it is, it's still in beta, okay? But look at all the features that it has. Let's go down to highlights and show you what some of this thing does, okay? It's very fast. It's got a configuration wizard. You know, you can get it done in just a few steps and get it running, okay? It's also got tons of different configuration settings, so you can fine-tune it per system. And they support 194 different systems, okay? Now, this is a uh, French-based community group. They're really cool people. In fact, the guy that I met uh, on Discord that helped me out with this, Tommy. So if he's watching this, I'll give you a shout-out. Tommy, much appreciated for all your help. But many people are contributing all the time to this. Uh, so it's getting more and more up to date, you know, every day, every week. So let's go ahead and download it, and then we'll get into see, uh, see how do you actually use it. All right, so let's get downloading. I got the Windows, I got the Linux, uh, and they're working on it for Mac as well. So for you guys that are uh, Mac users, they're going to have that available too. But pretty cool. It's actually a beta. All right, now that it's downloaded, you will need a WinRAR or WinZip to be able to unzip it you go ahead and unzip it and there you go you have all your files and to execute it you have your scraper UI exe okay now one thing I did notice is that you do have to right click you got to run this as your administrator okay it needs administrative rights or else you'll run into a few errors so go ahead and say yes and let that start up all right once it uh, starts up you can either uh, log in with an account if you created one or you can say I don't have an account and I want to register you can do that or I don't have an account and I don't want to register. Okay. Uh, the differences are you get a lot more functionality, a lot more speed, and a lot more uh, machines, you know, looking on the internet for you. And it doesn't do one ROM at a time; it'll do like ten. So highly uh, uh, advise you to do, you know, uh, registering for an account. It's a lot faster. Okay. Once you uh, log in, it'll start loading the resources. Okay. Once that's complete. You have your front end selection, so this is going to be tailored to whichever one you're using. So, like I said, Recall Box, uh, Lunch Box, and Retro Pie. They also have a generic one in case you're not using one of these three. Um, I haven't quite used that, so I'm not too familiar with it. Um, but it should be fine, you know, to use for just basic, you know, scraping. So anyway, for this uh, exercise or example, we're going to go ahead and do Retro Pie. Okay, so you're going to say Select Next. Then what you're going to do. Is select the RetroPie config folder from your Samba shares. It's gonna pop up, and underneath your RetroPie folder, you're gonna see your BIOS, configs, ROMs, and splash screens. Okay, so what it's looking for is your configs. So go ahead and select that one and say OK. Okay, so now that you have the home folder selected, which is uh, slash slash RetroPie slash configs, you wanna go ahead and select next. So now that it knows where the configs are, it wants to know where your ROMs are at. So we'll do the same thing. So you just want to browse to the RetroPie ROMs folder. Okay. Now, as you can see, it detected that I had 39 systems, which are based on all the folders that I have. And you'll see them listed here. So I have Sega 32X. I have Nintendo 64, Virtual Boy, 
Turbo Graphics, PC Engine, etc, etc, etc. Now you just want to hit next and select next one more time here. Okay, now you're going to see the main screen. There is a lot going on guys, so I'm going to break it down for you because it's not that intuitive. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to see that you have 39 systems on the bottom. On the left hand side, you're going to see all of their fancy icons for everything that you have on your uh, system folder and that's all underneath the screen scraper account. So now let's go to the front end. So here's where you can change your front end uh, you know from RetroPie to LaunchBox to any of the other ones and you can change your front end path here as well so if you mistype that or you know you don't have it in the right spot you know you can change it there uh, you can also change uh, global settings you know any kind of file extensions that aren't uh, listed you can do that here for different types of ROMs they have different file extensions you can do that I leave most of this alone you know I mean once you get it set it's pretty good I haven't come across anything that's not already configured correctly so anyway so going on the game list uh, for emulation station this is what you'll need uh, the game list.xml so you want to leave it on default because you want it to back up the existing and then update so that way if you do mess it up you have a backup so uh, it'll be in the same folder as the original okay and the full path will be uh, to the ROM folder and it'll be game list.xml pretty simple and the rest of these I do not touch any of that so uh, moving along we'll go to metadata I also leave this one alone if you're really into some of the metadata you can mess with this one um, I leave it as is the main one that you want to focus is media now this one you need to really pay attention to okay so on the top she gives you some examples so here's best screenshot here's video um, and we'll go across here's screen marquee um, you know as some examples so depending on what you're trying to build if you need box art or if you need screenshots or if you need some sort of mix or you need snap you know which are the videos or you just need marquees you know you tailor this to what you want so for example down here internal mix is the current selection so internal mix what do we want uh, for our media uh, do I want a screenshot do I want two images mixed together where it lives you know it says Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and the screenshot or do I want just a screenshot what else do they have they have three images they can have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 plus a screenshot plus the box art well what if you're not into that maybe you want the cartridge uh, maybe you want the region that it was picked up from on the five images mixed you can also do a recall box mix volume 1 uh, recall box you know version 2 uh, so on and so forth and that's just the internal mix you can change that to user provided you know where there's custom ones you can do your own custom mix files uh, if you just want videos uh, you'll see the folders you know change down here it'll go from media uh, you know if you're doing um, different kind of images it'll go media images if you're doing videos it goes to media videos you know uh, if you also want manuals it'll go to media manuals you can change that folder as well uh, if you're doing images uh, for you know like a wheel you know you can change it to be a marquee a screen marquee you know transparent marquee I mean like I said you can really tailor this and this is where scraper really shines is your ability to change this and to tailor it exactly how you want you know so uh, personally for some of my images that uh, I've built I kinda like the three images mix it's one of my favorites uh, but you can do as you like it also gives you additional options down here you can resize the width and specify that you know if you have a specific width if it's not 800 uh, I think it's six yeah 800 by 600 is the default uh, width and height uh, you can keep keep the image ratio if you're uh, trying to do that uh, you can also do uh, you know set the game list linked to where there's no link so you just store one media you know uh, per game uh, or ROM which is kinda cool if you want to save some space so they have tons of options in here guys definitely uh, play with this and get familiar with it uh, it even lets you uh, crop and edit you know the images uh, if you're doing custom ones in here so very powerful tool very very powerful tool and then miscellaneous this has to do with like languages and the uh, matching uh, I usually leave all this alone 
you know unless you're trying to change your language you can do that here uh, you can also change your region order you know so that Japan is first you know or just leave US as first just depends on what you're trying to do okay so now that you've uh, kind of got familiar with the layout what we want to do is go ahead and get the uh, let's just do one as an example for this little demonstration I'm showing you that I am logged into my RetroPie through Secure Shell and I'm under the Atari 7800 and here are all my games and I have no game list.xml I have no folders uh, for just about anything so we need to make it so let's go to Scraper have them help us out so first thing you want to do is select the system that you're going to be working on uh, if you are doing this offline you know uh, instead of logged into your Pi let's say you have the folder on your desktop you can just change this you know to your desktop uh, location here so just you know FYI okay so anyway you want to validate that uh, the games and ROMs are correct uh, that they're you know a 78 bin ROMs or uh, zips and in this case oops wrong button. <laughs> uh, in this case they are zips so we're good there so all you want to do is hit the big button down here and it says start scraping <laughs> so you get a pretty cool little uh, gif and image you know that tells you what's going on so it'll say that there's 59 ROMs found in the Atari 7800. Okay. Um, then you'll start seeing messages about what it's doing. So first it's going to clean out the folder uh, for media, uh, images, video, marquee. It should create those if they don't exist. Um, you know, that's part of the uh, process. I'm also showing you the uh, time it takes when you're doing uh, this on a free public account. So obviously on your work engines, you only have one. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I have nine requests, downloaded media A. There's a lot of statistics here. But basically, because I only have uh, one system, 59 games, uh, and I'm only doing one at a time, it's going to take a little while. Okay, so just to show you what it looks like, when it does find one, it'll say completed game commando you know usa.zip and you'll see it up there at the top now this remember is going to be a match of what you asked for so I asked for three images so it's going to give me a screenshot you know a marquee uh, kind of uh, title of the game down here and the box art over here so that was my three image so that's what I asked for uh, in addition to my video and marquee files so my image file though is going to be this so that's what I'm going to see so it's just going to move along here pretty slowly. Like I said, highly recommend doing more than a public account because uh, one game will probably take about a minute. So this will take probably about an hour to finish. Okay. All right, just a quick little update. I wanted to show you something because this is actually very interesting. So you see over here, Barnyard Blaster. So in this case, what I got was a marquee file. I didn't get a three image file. So what that means is the community uh, hasn't actually uploaded uh, different, you know, marquee and title and box art images or screenshots for Barnyard Blaster. All they have is a marquee, so that will happen from time to time. But when you start asking for three images, um, you know, you may or may not get it. But uh, it is a community base, so it's constantly getting updated. Very cool scraper. So I'm going to let this run, and then I'm going to show you the results. All right. So actually, it didn't take too long, about 18 minutes, so... Uh, I did notice there's a couple errors down here, and you're going to notice these two. Failed to stop emulation station. Failed to reboot emulation station. It tries to actually do that for you. Uh, sometimes there's permission issues, or, you know, if it was already running, it won't be able to do it because it doesn't have root or sudo, you know, permissions. So, anyway, go ahead and shut it down. and uh, Or not shut it down, but just reboot emulation station, and uh, let's see how we did. All right, before we do that, I just want to and show you what was going on on the RetroPie image itself. So you do see here that there is a media folder and there is a game list XML and a copy of the old one. So we have a little backup. Cool. So let's go into media and see how it looks. Should have three folders. There they are. Images. All right. Uh, how many did we get? 59 same number of ROMs all right marquee all right those look good I got 58 okay so there's one marquee missing and not bad though videos how many did I get 
Looks pretty good. But you never know. 58, okay. Not bad. Alright. It's not too bad though. So, 58 out of 59. Uh, let's go ahead and start up emulation station and see how it looks. Alright, alright, alright. Reboot and emulation station. So Atari 7800 got our own ROMs and our images. Let's see how it actually looks. All right, aces of aces. I got my box art, my three image uh, down here. See the box art, see the screenshot, and then the aces of aces uh, marquee uh, or title. Up here I have the uh, marquee and I have the video. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So let's get an asteroid. See how asteroids looks. All right, nice marquee up here. Three image over here, and nice video over here. Very nice. Let's do one more just out of curiosity. Basketball? Why not? Centipede. That's a good one too. Let's check out centipede. Oh, oh yeah, I love this game. Cool. Uh, I really enjoyed this scraper. The guys over there in France, the end of the community, the retro gaming community over there, put this together. Um, you know, I highly recommend you actually get an account so that you can donate to them. They put a lot of time and effort into this, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can, guys. Till next time.